lying on the floor in the middle of a form of pit top tends to raise a few eyebrows but here's a feeding sign of a moth which may be more familiar to you when it turns up in numbers for your pheromone lure this is the feeding sign of the six belted clearing Now, unfortunately, the rain's starting to come down. Quite a bit of rain to come by the looks of it. But this is one of the more obvious feeding signs that you can see. And it's the first time I've really come to look for it. And it's very obvious in this little area near the entrance of Warsaw Main Pit Top. The food plant here is Lotus Corniculatus, which you may well know is bird's foot trefoil. And that's the larval food plant. But the larva of the six pelted clearing doesn't eat the leaves, it eats the rootstock, and that's why this plant has all this completely dead and dying foliage. It's quite distinctive and it's easy to pull up, and if you do pull it up at the base, the root, it usually exposes where the caterpillar is feeding. See how that just pulls up really quick, very easy. But just down under there is at least one larva of this beautiful clearing moth. It's an absolutely beautiful species. And here's more feeding signs. Sometimes if you get right to the base of the plant and you pull this dead stuff off and I say deep down you can see where the larval tube is it's often lined with frass it's a silken tube lined with frass and quite easy to find but as these are still feeding there's a few more weeks yet before these appear as the adult moths here I'm going to leave well alone but it's a feeding sign that you can look for six water clearing has increased dramatically in Nottinghamshire over the last 10 years it's now found on all our former pit top sites it's a very common species and comes to lure in numbers look for it on any dry or thinly vegetated site with lots of birds with trefoil and have a look for this dead and dying p part of the plant there's some here look that's just starting to go this bit's already been gone because the rootstock's been eaten away and this bit's now starting to die I dare say this may well be the first time that this damage has been documented in Nottinghamshire it just goes to show you what you can find if you put your mind to it. And there's another plant. This one here. I watched a female looking for a suitable place to oviposit last year, and that was just further further up the site. It was very, very flighty. But when you see birds foot trefoil dying like this, and it's usually from plants that are growing on bare or open soil or stony soil, the cause of it is underground. And it's the larva of the six belted clearing. It's an absolutely beautiful moth. It's probably one of our nicest clearings, certainly that we have in Nottinghamshire. Fresh specimens are absolutely gorgeous but here's another very easy feeding damage or signs of feeding damage only the perpetrator 
It's on the ground. And here's the classic signs. You've got this dying plant of bird's foot trefoil. If I pull that up, you see there how the root stock's been eaten. But this light brown area here is the larval feeding tube. This is all frass. This brown stuff, that's all larval frass. Frass is the droppings produced by the larva, and that tube goes down further down into the rootstock. You wouldn't think there'd be enough on the rootstock of a small plant to burst up trefoil like this to support a larva. But there obviously is. And I've noticed that there's some damage on even smaller plants. But the plants most affected are like this, growing in very sparsely vegetated areas of the site. When you look around, you can see these feeding signs absolutely everywhere. So there's something for you to look out for when you're having a walk up some what they call country parks now. Have a look out for Birchwood trefoil on some bare ground habitat. And look out for dead and dying. It's very conspicuous Birchwood trefoil that is affected by this moth. So in a couple of weeks we'll come back and see if we can track down the adult six-belted clearing because it's a stonker. <laughs>